Okay, Pamela, I have a question here. We're first going to ask it of uh, Zeke Hill, and then uh, if Paul would like to weigh in. Zeke, you said that the recent Supreme Court decision in Lorenzo versus SEC expanded so-called scheme liability. What have the consequences been to date? Well, so there's, um, it's, it's still kind of early days in figuring out what's going to happen. Certainly the, the SEC um, has expressed its uh, appreciation for the decision, um, and it was consistent with, with the SEC's um, understanding that a person could be liable um, under the anti-fraud provisions for the dissemination of misleading statements, even if they didn't make those. Um, and then we've also seen some, it's, again, early days, but, but a SEC v. Weaver in the Ninth Circuit and a few cases in the um, Southern District of New York um, where they've sustained fraud claims um, on the uh, adopting the Lorenzo theory, um, even where there isn't a deceptive act distinct from the misstatement. But what I'd expect to see potentially going forward is Lorenzo may expand kind of who the, is the target of SEC investigations and the defendants in private securities litigation to include uh, any market participant who might have passed along a, a misstatement by others. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Paul, is there anything you'd like to uh, add perhaps uh, to that uh, answer? Uh, no, I, I think Z covered it. Um, it it's, interesting, it's interesting to see how it will evolve and whether there will be more uh, more actions uh, brought by the APC as a result, but um, nothing really to add. 